After the Odyssey and Neptune project, Microsoft began work on Windows Whistler, the operating system that would soon become Windows XP. You will notice several interface elements that are similar to Neptune and several elements that are similar to XP, because these developments were made before XP came out. Some changes were made, some interface elements were excluded from the final release, but some were kept. For example, XP had a similar start menu design to this. Besides the start menu just looking different, one of the main features was that it kept your most recently used applications in one column. This is the control panel for Windows Whistler. As you can see, it is very reminiscent of Windows XP's, but it is in more of a primitive phase of development. When observing the general interface elements, you will notice the checkboxes and buttons and such look extremely flat compared to the final version of XP. This is similar to what Microsoft is going towards with the current design in the Windows 8 interface. The Internet Connection Wizard was a feature that was highlighted in the slideshow that played at the beginning of the Windows Whistler installation. It helped users connect to the internet more efficiently. And one interface change is that you will notice the window borders turn red when they are displaying a notification. This helps the user identify what alerts relate to which window. Windows Movie Maker also came with Windows Whistler and it also was bundled with this tour interface and this provided video tutorials to the user so they could figure out how to use the interface and other features of the application. The sidebar in the Explorer derived a few features from Neptune that related to performing common tasks. For example, the folder tasks area, which provided options like make a new folder. Once again, an interface like the Windows Media Player skin is similar to XP, but there are some changes such as the size and color of the play button. Before XP's Luna theme was present, the theme was called Watercolor, and a user could still switch to Windows Classic if they so chose. There were also several desktop patterns and wallpapers included, and the user could set their own image if they wanted, or they could use one of the built-in ones via the Display Properties panel. Whistler did come bundled with Microsoft Outlook Express, the default email client, and it came bundled with Internet Explorer 6. IE6 was released with Windows XP, but there were some interface changes. For example, IE6 had a sidebar similar to this, but this kind of tab menu pop-out display was removed in the final release of IE6. So there you have it, a quick look at Microsoft Windows Whistler, the code name for XP. Don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch with more Real Deal videos and click that like button if you liked the video. In addition, check out our largest production to date. It is now available, you do not want to miss this. And if you want to see more content from us, or apply for a YouTube partnership, visit us on our other great websites.